Hello, welcome to a very quick uh, Dink Smallwood PT tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to install Dink Smallwood with uh, FreeDink, essentially. So, if you go to the website, you get this nice fancy front end page. You've got download now. This will take you to the download for Dink Smallwood HD. This is not where we're going though. I'm just going to reiterate that. This is not the page that we want. This is the page we want. We want a Dink Smallwood. So, Dink Network, File, Dink Smallwood. This is the actual original 1.08 download with the information, reviews, bunch of file discussion, etc. So, we go into this page, download. I've already done so just to make things easier. The next page we want is dinknetwork.com slash file slash dfarc underscore three. This is going to be the front end launcher for Dink. So, this is where we control pretty much uh, how Dink runs, whether we're running the original game or if we're running a demod. Finally, we want dinknetwork.com slash file slash gnu underscore free Dink. Uh, the only button's all the way down here, but that's fine it's because there's a lot of patch notes. This is the essentially how we're going to be running Dink. Um, kind of an engine thing, I guess. For the sake of brevity, I downloaded these three files earlier, so now I'm just going to install them, essentially. So we've got, this is the install, so we'll run this, next, user license agreement, I agree, I'm going to turn the desktop icon off just because I'm not keeping this install file, and this for me is the default install location. I'm leaving that as it is. And while that's doing that, I'm going to right click here. Extract to folder using 7z or WinZip or whatever. And do the same to FreeDink just to keep them separate. install is still going. Okay, so once we got this here um, we've essentially completed running the install so if we click that it's going to run DFR2 it's going to give us the rundown there. This is essentially what the launcher looks like for DFR2. This is not the launcher we're going to be using though. Um, we also want to override the Dink Small directory here, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So, what we've done here is we've installed Dink Original with its basic DFR2 launcher. So, the next thing we're going to do, I've opened the Dink directory here. Go to the DFR here, just copy all of this, paste it. It'll override the DFR file. Do this for all conflicts. And then we do the same. Oops. Then we go to GNU FreeDink here. All I'm going to do is control, copy, paste it all in here. And that's done. So we've copied all, we've essentially installed all the files. Ignore my old data folder, that's different stuff. Old downloads. DFR now. So this is now running DFR version 3. We click on the original game, etc. from here. Show developer buttons, that's essentially this list here. Um, engine updates, blah blah blah. Override Dink Small Directory automatically default ticked to there. So essentially we can pick where the demods go. I leave it there just because why not? It's a mess in my original install, but that's fine. Game program name. We want to make sure this is set to freedink, not dink.exe. Editor program name. Um, I've got when you can get plus two listed because it's actually loaded my existing settings, which is interesting. Um, normally this would be set to dink edit or freedink, or you could change it to freedink edit. This would be how you can optionally just launch, run the launcher and edit demods from there. We don't really care about that. System language, etc. 
and yeah we can also just enable disable closing the arc on playing running a demod so that's how we install dfarc 3 along with uh, freedink and from here just installing a demod would be as simple as double clicking on the dot demod file it'll run dfarc to install it and that's all you need to worry about so thank you for watching this quick tutorial sorry i took longer than i expected and enjoy playing dink smallwood